Howdy. Uh, so we're going to be doing something a little different today. Um, my uh, 608 tablet here has been having issues charging. So like you can put the charger in and nothing happens. You actually have to push on it like that to make it start charging. So I've been having to charge it upside down with something putting pressure there. And uh, it just it doesn't work very well. Um, so we're going to take it apart and we're going to see what's going on. And I'm pretty sure I know already what's happened because this is not the first time. Uh, I've actually had to take this apart and repair it before. And I guarantee you we have the exact same issue. Uh, before the charging port, so the center pin, that center pin actually just sheared in half. And what I did to fix it was I just... Uh, you know, soldered it back together. So I, I'm assuming that it's done sheared off again. Um, but we're going to see. All right, there we go. So I found the bit I need. It's a number three. So we're just going to take out all these uh, screws here, and that should take off the rubber piece. So this one is a little bit bigger. Let's see. But these ones are still that size. So let's go to the bigger one here and get these. Now these ones will be longer than the other side. I think the other side is mostly for uh, cosmetic. I think these ones are actually full size. So these ones, I think, are actually holding it together. Just like that. And now we got four more here. All right, and that should be all that we need to get it open. I have to take off these rubber bumpers. There we go. Just trying to get under it a little bit there. There we go. And once you start getting it off, this whole thing should just come right off. Oh, I still have a screw here. No wonder it's not coming off. Thought something won't right. There we go. All right, I think that is good there's two more screws down here so there's going to be two more on this side as well okay so let's get those out and once we get those out it should come on apart Okay, so let's slowly 
open it. I'm sure we have ribbon cables here. Uh, let's see. Feel like something's still holding it. Don't think there's nothing in here with the battery, but we can take the battery out. Anyway, just in case. Oh, there there are screws here holding it. So we have four little Phillips here. Don't remember them, but that's okay. All right. Yep, there it comes. Really easy to come apart now. And the only cable we really got to worry about is the one for the display and digitizer here. So we're just going to undo the little cable uh, holder there. And we're just going to set this out of the way. All right, and then we're going to take a look here. Uh, power port is right here. So let's uh, zoom in and see what we see. All right, so yep, it, it broke exactly the same way that it broke before. You see, you see that crack? That's exactly how it cracked before. Ain't that something? And I am just going to solder it again because I don't really feel like uh, trying to find a replacement port. What is this piece bent like this? I guess that's the arm to, you know, tell it that it's in the jack. Alright, well, I'm going to clean away the old solder first. Maybe I used um, lead free last time because it looks pretty dull. I, I should have used leaded solder for this. Leaded solder, you know, typically is a little bit more flexible. Not not quite as brittle. Uh, let me find my solder wick. All right, I got it here. So let's get this cleaned up. Alright, so I let that fall down in there. I better pick that up before it falls all the way in. All right, so I'm going to apply some flux here, and we can see the whole pin just broke off the back. All right, I'm going to get some lead solder this time. And first I'm going to try to solder to this, this piece, just like that. Then we'll come here, solder to that, and then I'm just going to try to glob a lot of it there. So I don't have this problem again. There we go. Now, if you have an IM and you're experiencing the same issue where you have to press on the charger, I bet you 
that's your problem. And it's uh, pretty quick, pretty easy to fix. Uh, this actually comes apart easier than some of the other Alltel tools. Okay, let's just get it back together here. This cable is a little bit short, so you do have to kind of hold it together in like a, this V pattern. I'll tell you, the IM feels a lot more cheaper than the uh, the um, like the Maxi Sys Elite. This plastic feels super cheap. With as many of the features as they're taking off of the 608, it's kind of not even worth it no more. All right, so I got the ribbon cable back in there, got the little clamp back down, and now we just got to put it back. And we'll do it exactly the same way as I took it apart. I'll do these little guys first. Okay, this might help my battery, man. I've been struggling to keep this battery charged. I've been a mess. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure it's working too before I put all the other stuff back in. So we're gonna put the battery in. Plug the cable back in. Put the back on here. Okay, and let's make sure that it's charging like it's supposed to now. There we go. So uh, that problem is fixed again. Um, really nothing left to do but put all the screws back. Nah, there's no point in you know, keeping the video going for that. So uh, you guys take care, and I will catch you on the next one.